Welcome to the Celiac Diva! Hi everybody, welcome to the Celiac Diva. The Diva is in, woo! I'm your hostess, Lauren Lynn Silvassar, bringing you gluten-free beauty product and food reviews. Today, um, before I get started, I'm gonna be breaking out of the mold, if you will. I'm gonna be doing a review on a documentary on celiac disease by Susan Cohen called Generation Gluten-Free. And yes, I'm wearing a lot of buttons. Uh, these were sent to me by Tinsley from a video blog on celiac disease uh, called Celiobo, and I'll put a link up to her vlog as well. She does a lot of great information on celiac disease, and it rocks. And um, she was the gluten fairy and mailed me all these things. <laughs> Thank you, celiac gluten fairy. Wait, gluten free fairy. What am I saying? Okay, um, moving on. Okay, so this is the Generation Gluten Free documentary. Let me tell you what it is. This is, it says right here, it tells the story of a special group of people who have changed the face of celiac disease in the United States. From founding a support group to developing gluten-free products to transforming gluten-free dining in restaurants, the individuals in this film created the resources that have revolutionized day-to-day -day life for Americans in celiac disease. So that was definitely something, I think I didn't know what to expect with the documentary. Um, it's basically, it's got a lot of the history. So let me tell you what's in it. You are gonna hear, if you're somebody who um, has the privilege of watching this documentary, you're gonna hear from gluten-free companies. Um, it's particular, I wanna say, oh yes, Gluten-Free Pantry and Foods by George, who started their companies years and years ago, like 30, 40 years ago, something, something of that nature. And you're gonna hear them talk about what it was like when they didn't have gluten-free products available, what it was like developing their companies. You're gonna hear about the gluten-free industry from them. So um, if you're a gluten-free company looking to get into that um, industry, you know, that might be something, this may be something for you to watch. Uh, you're gonna hear from chefs and restaurant owners about what it's like from their perspective of getting gluten-free food into their restaurants and how cool that is for them. You're gonna hear stories from celiac support groups, which I think was my favorite, you know, just hearing from people who have celiac disease, hearing what their stories were about getting diagnosed you know 30 or 40 years ago and you know what that's like what would that that was blah, 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 what that was like for them you're also going to hear stories from parents um who have children who have celiac disease and their kind of story of getting their daughter diagnosed i thought i really enjoyed listening to that and that you know that happy story of her getting to heal um let's hear so basically this is definitely the history of the gluten-free industry if you will and how far we've come and it kind of i guess for me, it was cool to see, you know, the sweat of all these people and what they all went through was one of the reasons that, you know, those of us, and even though I know sometimes it's like, oh, living gluten-free stinks, you know, we're really very blessed to, if you have celiac sprue, to know what you have and um, to know how to treat it, you know, so if you're going to get a disease, it's the one they get. <laughs> you may disagree with me, but that's a-okay. Um, so anyway, so it's definitely a lot of, you know, kind of history and it talks from gluten-free industry, gluten-free, you know, people who are gluten-free, different things like that. What I learned, ah, I learned that doctors used to think that you could outgrow celiac disease. Um, let's see. Okay, so who should watch this documentary? I um, think that this is more of, it's a historic type of a thing. You know, it talks about the different angles of the history of celiac disease. So it basically shows you where we've been as to know why we're so blessed now. So I think that it's good for like gluten intolerance groups because it's about 40 minutes, give or take. And so I think it would be really cool to watch for your gluten intolerant group. Group, I think it's really good for celiac support groups. I think it's good for the classroom, like anything like the history of um, autoimmune diseases as far as celiac, it's kind of good for that. And I think it's good for if you have a group of celiacs that get together to watch it and discuss what you think about the history. And it's kind of cool to see how far we've come. So um, that's kind of who I think it's for. It, this is not a all about celiac, just so you know, like this isn't an all about celiac disease as far as knowing what it is or how to deal with it, or it, it even doesn't, it's not even really for, I mean, it's definitely good for friends and family to watch because they can see, wow, like, wow, you, you definitely have it good now because, I mean, it was really hard back then. But I would say it's not for friends and family as far as, like, learning what celiac disease is and how they should treat you. It's more, I believe this is more for the gluten-free group and people who, who want to learn about what the history of being gluten-free is and what that's like and how far we've come. So those are just um, my thoughts on it. Um, major props to Susan Cohen for, um, like, getting out there and doing a documentary about 
for the different angles of how people are learning to live with living gluten free. So um, I think that is amazing that some that she went out and did that. That you went out and did that. If you're watching, hello. <laughs> so I think that totally rocks and props to you. And I, I think I would have enjoyed watching this with my gluten intolerance group and you know discussing it, talking about that. So that is the documentary. And thanks so much to Susan for allowing me the privilege of watching your um, your your baby, if you will. Thanks for sending it to me. And um, that's all I have. So anyway, I'll put the links up to Sue Yobo. I'll put the links up to her documentary so you can check it out. And I hope everybody just has a fantastic day. Thanks again so much for watching. Bye. Talk, talk.